welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So I wanted to film a get ready with me holiday glam, but I wanted to kind of twist it up a bit on how I would do today's video. So I recently saw Tara Brooke um, come out with the Christmas tag. Um, she wasn't the original creator, but she did um, go ahead and give credit to that original creator. And it looks like it was Charlotte Louise Taylor. So I will be sure to link um, her original video down below. And then as well as um, Tara Brooks channel because she was the one inspired me to do today's video. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that get ready with me and then I would answer the questions from the Christmas tag throughout the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. Okay so you, you guys are all zoomed in. You guys I wish you could see my setup because it is just I feel like if I move literally just an inch, I'm gonna knock over an entire thing. My coffee has already spilled a little bit once. So anyways, but um, speaking of coffee, I have my cute little penguin mug. He is just so adorable. And I am drinking from H-E-B their um, holiday blend uh, coffee. So definitely check that out if you have a, an H-E-B near you, if that's your grocery store. So. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with primer. I already have my skincare on. I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This was part of my Shop My Stash that I just uploaded yesterday. So um, just wanted to go ahead and use this today. And I'm looking down because this is where my mirror is. I cannot see clearly with the viewfinder or with um, the camera I don't know but anyways so I'm gonna be using this mirror down here so if you see me looking down that's why so let's go ahead and answer the first question Tara was nice enough to include the questions in her description box so what do you do on Christmas Eve so what I do on Christmas Eve is I usually spend Christmas with my family um, that's just kind of how it works out. Christmas is just more fun on my side of the family than on my husband's, in my opinion. Um, we just do more, I feel like, and we like to play board games and th do things like that. And I just feel like at his family's house, like there's not a lot of that going on. So for Christmas Eve, we usually go to uh, my mom's. My mom, it, my parents are divorced, so we don't, like I usually always see my mom. Um, and so my mom doesn't have anybody over so we are still going this year even though everything is still going on because like I said she works from home she doesn't really go anywhere um, besides to go out and get things like um, you know do occasional shopping or go and get groceries things like that um, but yeah for Christmas Eve normally it's like me and my sisters and my sister's family and my you know of course uh, Lupe my husband comes and we have um, our like we have Mexican food but my mom kind of calls it um like it's still Mexican food but she makes an enchilada casserole instead of like actual enchiladas and anyways so we have enchilada casserole and then she does make tamales from scratch um so we do have tamales as well and we have rice sometimes um but lately my aunt has been coming over and she's like really really good at making you know homemade enchiladas and so she might make those this year um so yeah just something very very small we don't usually do anything big at any given year so um yeah that's what we're going to be doing this year or that's what we usually do on Christmas Eve. That's also when we usually open up our Christmas gifts too. So we usually, within my immediate family, buy gifts for one another. And then um, we also participate in a secret Santa whenever my aunt and her family does come over. So um, we do usually do both of those on Christmas Eve. So I'm trying to use this product up. I'm gonna use this as my primer spray. This is the Catrice Hydrating Prime and Care Spray. And um, I'm just really trying to get some more use out of this one. I don't know if it's still available, but it is so hard to spray out of this bottle. Like I'm telling you, it is so hard to get out of there, get out of that bottle. I don't know why. Um, it looks like I'm like not wearing anything, but I'm wearing this like red camisole. So anyways, um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next question while I let all of that sink into my skin. Uh, what are you celebrating or how are you celebrating Christmas this year? So I kind of answered that already. I'm going to be with my mom. Um, we're going to have a little bit of people over. Um, like I said, just me, my husband, my mom, my sister, and then my other sister and her husband and daughter and um, my aunt and uncle and then my cousin. So 
that's that should be it um and we're actually exposed to a lot of them all the time to be honest um i i think we could be doing better as far as not you know being better of, as far as the virus goes but honestly like we all work regardless like my mom is the only one that doesn't go into work so it's kind of like we're all getting exposed somehow like we don't have the luxury of um you know working from home all the time we don't have the luxury of being able to um choose safely and not work you know like we just don't have that option so we all go to work you know anyways so before my sponge gets completely dry, I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Really, really have been enjoying this one. I don't know if it's because of the weather that um, now that it's like a little bit cooler, as I say that it's like flipping hot out. Um, it's not even that hot. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's just I'm hot natured. And so I I like it to be hot like, or I like it to be cold. I do. Um but anyways, my skin has really been liking this foundation. So I don't know if maybe the last time that I tried it out, which was this summer, maybe I used it with a brush and like it just didn't, maybe I just didn't look good applied with the brush. I don't know. So the next question, so I did kind of answer that. Christmas day, we don't really do too much um, because we usually do a lot on Christmas Eve. Okay, so next question. Um, what would you wish for, or what do you wish for under the Christmas tree? Um, so I did film a, like, what's on my Christmas list video. So definitely check that one out because I go in full detail about what I want for Christmas this year. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. hydrating camo, by the way. Um, so definitely check out that video if you want to know what I'm asking for for Christmas. So I will link that video down below. I have like, I cannot reach from that far. Okay, what's your least favorite and most favorite Christmas song? Okay, my least favorite is probably, that's tough because I do really enjoy a lot of Christmas songs. Um, I would say my least favorite, I really don't like a lot of like the pop songs that turn into Christmas songs. Like I do like Kelly Clarkson's, um, Christmas album. Like that one's really good, but I don't know something about like the Justin Bieber ones, the Ariana Grande ones. Like I just don't really feel those that much. I just think that I really enjoy like the Christmas songs that are like classics. Um, and I also will say the Christmas time song, the one that's like simply, ha I hate that one. I hate it. It's so annoying. Oh my gosh. It's so annoying. Like, I hope I cannot be the only one on that. Like, my husband also hates it so much. He's like, it's so annoying. Um, so like that one will play just casually on a playlist that I play on my Spotify. <laughs> and I like run over there and I'm just like skip like I do not want to hear that like that song is so annoying and then as far as favorite so my favorite would definitely have to be have yourself a merry little Christmas I just love that song so much I feel like it really does just kind of like set the tune for the holiday for um I look so pale um it kind of does just like set the tune for the holiday and um I like a lot of versions of it like I love um, of course, like the Judy Garland one. I like the, um, I think Michael Bublé sings it. I know Frank Sinatra sings it and I do enjoy his, of course, because he, he's like such a classic when it comes to all of his Christmas songs. Um, and then I also like Christina Aguilera's, believe it or not. She does add in a lot of like extra stuff, but I think she does a really good job. Um, I think Kelly Clarkson sings that one. And I do also like that one. I did recently hear Birdie's version of it, and I do like it. I love Birdie, you guys. But she did kind of change it up a bit, and it's kind of like islandy kind of sound, and I don't care for that, but it's still really nice because her voice is so beautiful. So Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is definitely my favorite. So now let's cream bronze and answer the next question. So favorite Christmas tradition. So this kind of goes with all of those previous questions I was answering, but... My favorite tradition is really just like being with family and um, 
just spending time with family, playing. I really, really love whenever we play um, like board games. Like I love that so much. We love playing categories. Uh, we also enjoy playing um, sequence. What else? What else? What else? We also like um, taboo. There's like so many that we enjoy. So really just playing board games with the fam, like that's always so fun for me. Um, whenever we get to just relax and hang out and spend time with one another, because I feel like everybody's probably guilty of this, but we're always just like on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. And it's really hard to actually be able to enjoy each other's company. And so, I just, I really do enjoy that tradition of just being able to just sit back, relax, everything is closed, like you're not able to go anywhere anyways, and just actually be able to enjoy each other's company and spend time with one another. Like that's what I love about the holiday. So if I didn't say what I was using, I did use my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, like the cream contour stick. Um, just in case I didn't say, which I feel like I didn't. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> okay, next question while I powder my face. Um, dress up on Christmas or have a cozy pajama day? So this is definitely, I feel like this just really depends. I love to dress up like all the time. Like I feel like at work, I'm usually the one that dresses up the most. Like I just really like dressing up. I love wearing dresses. I love, especially like nowadays, like whenever it's um, a little bit cold, I love wearing um, like dresses with tights and dresses with leggings and things like that. So for Christmas, like in an ideal world, I would like to dress up, I would. Um, and I feel like last year or the year before I really didn't, um, only because I don't know. I don't know why. Did I dress up? I think I might've just done something like really, really cash. Um, the year before that, I definitely didn't. Cause I remember like, Ooh, I was looking rough and like, I saw pictures that I wasn't wearing any makeup. I was like, girl, like, <laughs> so I think this year what I want to do is, um, is I want to wear something cute and then I'll probably wear or I'll probably just do like a little bit of makeup like not full glam or anything um so that's probably what I'm gonna do but yeah we used to like growing up we used to go to like midnight mass and stuff so we would do a lot of like dress up on Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day would kind of be like the relaxed you know stuff um you know this year you know all of the church is like virtual and stuff. So this year, and honestly, I'll probably watch something on, um, I'll probably watch like a service on YouTube or something like just to celebrate the season, you know? But on as far as like the day of Christmas, Christmas Eve actually, I'll probably dress up a little bit just because we're probably gonna stop by his my husband's mom and my husband's dad's like just real quick to say hi. So. I can see me dressing up a little bit on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, I'll probably just wear something comfortable and, um, you know, do a light, you know, dusting of makeup, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm doing so terrible at multitasking. Like I cannot do this. Um, okay. Favorite part of Christmas dinner. So for Christmas Day lately, we've been doing like Thanksgiving kind of. So having like a turkey um, or ham or both and like some sides. So I don't really care for that. I much rather prefer the um, like the Mexican food. So my favorite is like obviously having the enchilada casserole or the enchiladas or having the tamales. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, I am half... I'm half Mexican, so uh, my mom is Mexican-American and then my dad's white, so I'm half, but I spend a lot of time with my mom's side of the family, so I kind of like inherit those traditions. Um, so while my my very close family isn't from Mexico, like I still, I know a lot about the traditions. Um, thankfully, I'm very thankful to be able to participate in traditions. I had a quinceanera and like all of that, so anyways, so I much rather prefer our Christmas Eve food. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I can see this video being crazy long and then I will be right back. Okay, so brows are on. They probably look 
crazy, but it is what it is. I really cannot see very well in here. Um, okay, so the next question is real tree or a fake one. So if you were to ask me a year ago this question, um, first off, I already primed. So now I'm going to go in with, I'm going to do some mixtures, like a palette cocktail kind of. So I really want to use my Dose of Colors um, Francation palette. Um, this one is just so pretty. So I do want to try to use this one. And then also some of my Mary Kay singles, which I talked about in my shop, my stash. I'm sorry if this is all blurry in the frame. I really cannot see that far. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is I really, there's like a beautiful emerald shade in these Mary Kay singles. I think I'm going to use that shade for sure. And then let's, okay, so I'm going to use the mattes from the Frontation palette and I'm just going to like dip into both. So I'm going to start with this shade right here and put that in the crease. So real tree or fake tree. So if you would have asked me a year ago, I would have said like, ew, like fake all the way. <laughs> Um, mainly because I just, I don't know, I never really had a real tree that much growing up. Like, I remember we did a couple of times, but I just don't really had, I didn't really have a lot of memories with real trees. I definitely preferred fake trees because that's what we had. So this year, you know, if you are new here, my husband and I just bought this house that we're in in August. So we've been here for four or five months at this point. And he really, really wanted to um, have a real tree this year. And at first I was like, no, babe, like I really don't want one. But, you know, I was just like, you know what? No, that's fine. Let's do it. So we actually vlogged that and we did film it. I do have an entire video about, you know, us picking our tree, decorating it and everything. So be sure to check that out. I have a lot to link down below, but I will link that one down below as well. And having this real tree this year, I'm actually really liking it. I really love the smell. Um, I think it smells really nice and fresh and earthy. And I also just love how full the tree looks compared to an artificial one. Um, I know that you can buy artificial trees that look basically however you want them to look because they make them in all shapes and sizes and everything, but I just really prefer this real one. Like I really am liking it. So I can see myself wanting a real one next year. And I think my husband will be so happy about that because he said that growing up, they had a real tree all the time and it wasn't until later years that they started getting like the artificial ones. So I am... I'm team both, to be honest with you, but I'm leaning more towards real. Next question, um, love wrapping presents or loathe it? And I really liked Tara's answer. She basically said like, it just depends. Like, am I procrastinating? Have I devoted an afternoon to doing it? I think if I'm not rushing, you know, I enjoy it because I'm not like in a time crunch or anything. Um, but so now I'm going to go into this deep brown shade right here and use that one to deepen up the crease. Um, but if I'm rushing and procrastinating, which I feel like I usually am every year, then I don't really, I don't really like it. I'm also not very good at it. Like my mom is the one that's really good at wrapping gifts and my husband is, you know, pretty good too, but I just am not. I feel like I just have no rhyme or reason whenever it comes to it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm i kind of back and forth between it. I really like buying wrapping paper though, which is so weird. Have you done all of your Christmas shopping yet? So no, I'm not like behind. Like I, I would say for the time that it is, like today is, what is this, the 21st? Yeah, today's the 21st, it's Monday. And you're gonna be seeing this video today. Um, I think <laughs> I would say for the 21st, four days before Christmas, I think I'm in a good place. We have to just get his mom something and, um, his gift for secret Santa because he got someone that he doesn't know very well and it's my family member. So I'll have to help him with that. And then maybe just like a few more like gift cards or something or like two more gift cards and then we'll be done. So 
I would say that we're doing pretty good as far as like gifts. We definitely need to wrap though. And I think that's what's going to kind of like set us back a little bit. Um, so yeah, I would say that we're doing pretty good on gifts and who we need gifts for and how many we have for everyone and things like that. We usually try to just do like two gifts per person or if not that, then kind of like setting an amount that we spend on that person, if that makes sense. But girl, like you can get broke during Christmas. Like, let me tell you, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like I'm almost to the point where like, I don't want to exchange gifts anymore. Like, because I feel like during the year as an adult, like you just kind of like indulge yourself sometimes you know where like you don't really have much that you want by the end of the year around christmas time and instead you just like go broke like oh my gosh like you just spend so much money like, i remember one year like we racked up our credit cards so bad i don't recommend doing that by the way but we were both struggling financially and we are just pretending that we had this money and we did it and it was it was awful so nowadays like we really try to be smart and try to start buying early when we can things like that so moving away from the questions a little bit, I'm gonna go to my Mary Kay palette and I'm gonna grab this beautiful emerald shade right here. And I'm going to place this on my lid, but kind of like more like in the, not in the center, but kind of in the center. And then I'm gonna go in with like another shimmer shade, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna focus on doing that while I answer the next question. Uh, least favorite part of Christmas. I would say it's it's that, kind of like what I was just talking about. I I understand as a kid getting, like, getting Christmas gifts and like how special it is, but I just, I really don't like the hustle and bustle of this season. Um, I hate how fast it goes by. I, and I feel like this is gonna kind of like relate to the one of the next questions that are on here. I, I don't know. I just feel like that's not the reason for the season, you know, and I just enjoy the moments where you're with family and you're spending time together. Kind of like what I talked about, like what my favorite part of the season was or favorite part of the holiday was. And so I guess it just makes me sad that like we're so focused on buying gifts for one another. And not that that's bad. Like, of course, I love receiving gifts. I also love giving gifts. I love seeing the face on like people's faces of of after like once they're opening the gift i love seeing like people's faces whenever they're opening the gift that i got them like that is so fun and exciting but as far as like just all of the traffic all of the people people are all over the stores um and it's just i just feel like it's not really about what it used to be anymore you know and it's just it's kind of sad i feel like now it's about all the deals it's about like and i and you can definitely see how like marketing for businesses have really just taken it into their their hands with marketing everything as like oh this is the best deal oh come and you know come and get it from here and kind of like tugging at your heartstrings but just to go and buy stuff you know like it's not really about what it's supposed to be about if you know what i mean so that's kind of like my least favorite part and i don't think it was like this forever i think it's just a recent thing unfortunately so that would be my least favorite part you know people go bank like they they literally go broke during the season because of all the money they have to spend on gifts and like i feel like that's not spoken about enough to be honest um so that's my least favorite part just like that people aren't they're not focused on the real thing anymore um the next question what does Christmas mean to you? So I really like how this is the next question. Now, by the way, I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the Friendcation palette. Um, this one right here and just place that on the remaining part of my lid. They're doing work again on my street. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have any background noise. If it's not my husband playing video games, it's the city workers doing work on my street but the world doesn't revolve around me you know like so just ignore that if you can so what does christmas mean to me so i am spiritual um i obviously do believe jesus is the reason for the season um i grew up on that i like i said in another question i would go to midnight mass like my family and i we'd all go and it was it was just so much fun um and i still while i don't really go to church that much um anymore 
I still am spiritual. You know, I, I do pray as much as I can. I do pray a lot whenever I am walking um, from my car to work. Cause like I work, um, I have to park a little bit farther at my work. And so I use that time usually when I'm walking to work um, to pray, right? And I am spiritual and it's who I am. I also have read um, with my cousin and my sister, you know, spiritual books, like books that help you and your relationship with God. And I've watched services on YouTube from time to time. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a huge part of who I am. So Christmas means to me, it, it, it really is that, you know, I do believe that he's the reason for the season and I'm not here to like preach or anything. Definitely not. But that's just what this question is. And that's my answer. That is what I believe it's about. And I also really, this song, um, this is going to go sound like so cliche, but the song like Little Drummer Boy, I feel like really puts thing in, things into perspective for me because if you listen to the lyrics to that song and please like fast forward if you're not into this kind of stuff like you won't hurt my feelings but um you know it just talks about how like you know he's a poor boy he doesn't have much to give but yet he's still giving in his own little way and I think that's just like so beautiful and touching and sentimental and I just feel like that is what we should focus on during the season, you know, and focusing on what can we offer to our loved ones without spending a dime, you know, like what do we have to offer? What love can we give them during this time of year? And not only, not only our loved ones, how can we extend a loving hand to someone we don't even know, you know? Um, so that's kind of what it's about to me. Of course, all of the shiny things and sparkly things and lights and glitter and everything like that's beautiful and everything and i as much as i love the christmas tree i do um sometimes you know i go back again to that movie it's a wonderful life again i recommend it it's still christmas season watch it it's so good um that there's more to life than just your status than just your your income what you bring home every week every every two weeks every month right there's more to life than that and it's about, you know, how it's, it's about what you leave behind, you know, and how people, how people view you and what they say about you, you know? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I did want to show you the completed eye look. So I just put that emerald color right here and then I put some of the like gold shade from the front cation there. So I really do enjoy this look. Don't mind my nose. Um, my nose is just constantly running. So I'm always like doing this. But anyways, I really like the way the look came out and I just wanted to show you up close. So I zoomed out a little bit more. So I am really like, this video is so long. Um, next question, top three Christmas movies. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, so while I'm doing this, let's do some blush. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. Um, top three Christmas music, uh, Christmas movies. Oh, this is so hard. I think It's a Wonderful Life is, these are not in the same order, in a certain order, like absolutely not. I think It's a Wonderful Life is definitely on there now. I never used to like it because I was a kid when I watched it and it was like in black and white and I was like, ew. But now as an adult, I really have come to appreciate the meaning of that movie. So It's a Wonderful Life is definitely in that, in that top three now for sure. Um, and as far as other ones, this is so hard. I would think, I think Elf and then Christmas Vacation. I think I'm pretty confident in those. Um, we saw Elf just a few nights ago. It's just so funny. I just freaking love that movie. It is so up my alley. Um, I think it's hilarious whenever he's like in the window in the shopping, like, in that shopping area or in that shop what is what am i saying in that store and he like wakes up he's like dad i love that part like i crack up so much i just think it's hilarious so i love elf i love christmas vacation like oh my gosh if you have not seen that movie you need to get it they have it at target i just went the other day and i saw it there um I highly recommend that one. So yeah, those are my top three, not in any particular order, but it's it's a wonderful life, 
Elf and Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation, it's not like a good movie. It's just, it has so many funny parts in that movie. And it's like, I'm just like cracking up laughing, you know? Of course, more sentimental good movies are like The Polar Express. Um, of course, like, you know, we love uh, Love Actually. And I also really like, um, I think it's called... What is it called? Is it just called The Holiday or something? The Family something? I don't know. That one's really good. Now let's do some highlights. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. The next uh, question is, do you think you'll have a white Christmas this year? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I live in San Antonio, Texas, you guys. I have never even seen a white Christmas. What are we talking about? No, I've seen a white Christmas before. I have family in Missouri and um, we had gone over there one year for Christmas and it definitely snowed and that was so fun. Like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I am a native Texan. I don't really know what snow is to be honest. Like I never am around it. I remember like a few years ago, it did actually snow and like it was so monumental. Um, so no, I'm not gonna have a white Christmas this year. That would be like literally a miracle. Like, <laughs> last question, what's your Christmas wish? Uh, this is really hard. I don't know, I just, I, Tara Brooke went super political with this question and while I don't wanna go there, I would love for people to be people, you know, like I have so many wishes, you know, I wish that there were no stray animals. I wish that there were no, like no stray dogs, no stray cats. I don't want them to be picked up by the pound by any means because then they're just going to go and get euthanized. But I also want people to be treated as people, you know, and like just at the end of the day, like I said in another question, like status isn't everything. Um, I'm going to go in with my Becca Ruby Fire Gloss. Um, and so I just wish that people could actually receive help in this country. Yeah, I mean, all of those things. Personal wishes, I wish that um, all of this work I'm doing in grad school actually pays off. Uh, <laughs> I wish that, you know, I'm able to improve in my career and that I'm able to be successful, that my husband's able to move up, maybe go back to school, um, things like that. So. Those are all of the questions and I am finished with this look. I really do enjoy the way that it came out. I love that Rare Beauty highlight. It's so beautiful. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I was all over the place. I'm not used to doing get ready with me's, especially now that I have the camera um, because my setup is different. I'm using a table rather than my desk because obviously my desk is behind me. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed me answering the Christmas tag questions. I will definitely leave the questions down below as well as the original creator of the tag and Tara Brooks video since she was the one to inspire me. Um, check out my shop my stash video that I posted yesterday so that you know what else is in my shop my stash and um, I should be posting my 12 paints of Christmas project pan finale very soon so stay tuned for that I hope you subscribe I am trying to upload every day until Christmas so I will go ahead and see you in my next video bye